Hey everyone, so before this video starts, I just wanted to quickly say that Black Lives Matter is an ongoing movement. We still have a lot of work ahead of us. I'll have links in the description and the comments with lots of resources, and if you're unable to donate, you can still sign petitions and contact representatives. So far, I've donated to the Minnesota Freedom Fund and the Black Visions Collective, and although I think those two organizations are no longer accepting donations, there are still a lot of other places that you can donate to that will be in the links. With your help, we can keep up the momentum for the movement and create a change. So please check out those links, and here's the video. Is it bad that every time I want to record a video, I first have to watch someone else's YouTube video to remember how to act like a regular human being? Well, anyway, I know this setup is bringing up a lot of questions. I've brought us onto my floor today, and I'm also wearing this wonderful bejeweled headband. So here's what's going down. A few weeks ago, I decided that I deserved some retail therapy. For obvious reasons, I haven't been able to go out with friends or anything, so I haven't been spending money like I usually would. So I decided for once, I'm gonna treat myself, and also there was a sale for 50% off, so I was like, how can I pass up this offer? Now, something you might not know about me is that I had a big makeup phase in soft more year of high school. But then just as quickly as that started, I stopped wearing makeup kind of altogether. But what better hobby do you have during lockdown than to start watching beauty gurus again? Cause that's a great community to get back into. But either way, I bought the Morphe James Charles collab palette. <laughs> It has every color of the freaking rainbow. Every color. And then it came to me because also what better things do you have to do than to revisit nostalgic parts of internet culture that you haven't looked at in a few years. So today I will be trying to recreate iconic vines as makeup looks. <laughs> this is a really dumb idea, isn't it? Disclaimer, I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, I had a makeup phase. Does that mean I was good at it? No, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a beauty guru. As you can see, I have some great designer bags under my eyes all the time, no matter how much sleep I get. So we're gonna start with concealer. By the way, we're on my floor because I wanted this to be an authentic experience and this is where I normally do my makeup. Um, this is the very professional setup that we're dealing with. Here's me and oh God, there's a lot of clothes on the chair. Okay, anyway, so we're gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This concealer, it's pretty good. I refuse to spend like $25 on a concealer, so I really can't compare it to like shape tape or anything. I know you're supposed to use primer on your eyelids, um, but I don't have any. So we're just gonna multitask. Perfect. We're gonna use this fake beauty blender to blend it out. Fatality. Ow, 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 ow. Why do I look like that? Is this normal? Is this what people who use foundation look like whenever they put on their foundation? <sighs> okay, I'm scared. We're gonna move on. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows because hopefully they'll stay the same for all the looks. I'm gonna use the um, A Nastasia brow pomade and this little tiny brush. Wait, shoot, I forgot about powder. That's a thing that's supposed to happen. We're just gonna powder the hell out of everything because I use so much concealer. I've always wished that I was one of those people that had perfectly even skin tone, but I look like I'm wearing a flesh mask now. God gave me eye bags for a reason, apparently. Maybe if I had tried being a beauty influencer in high school, I wouldn't have to go to college. Maybe if I try being a beauty influencer now, I won't have to go to college. Okay, that sounds really bad. Stay in school, guys. I'm totally kidding. Okay, next. If you're getting the feeling that every time you watch one of my videos, I mention some random hobby that I had in the past, and it's just like an increasing number of random hobbies, that's because that's the exact situation I'm in. I'm one of those people that will get bored and pick something up because I saw it on Instagram or something, and then drop it four months later and never do it again until it comes up for some reason. So this is why I have such a random skill set. I'm not really good at anything. I just keep picking new things to do. Okay, my eyebrows are like, fine. I don't really know what the purpose of this step is, but everyone on YouTube says to do it, so I'm just gonna do it. And I'm doing this with um, some random brush. It's not Morphe, and there's no discount code. Oh, how I wish there was. Now I look exactly the same, but I just spent 10 minutes putting concealer around my eyebrows for some reason. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our first vine, which I think is going to be... Road work ahead. 
Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. That one has a clear color palette that should happen. I tried to just look it up on YouTube, but whenever you type in road work ahead, the first thing that comes up is road work ahead, Danny Gonzalez. You're not gonna be able to see that. Just pretend I'm telling the truth. If you're wondering, I did not plan these looks ahead of time. We're gonna wing it. Let's try out one of these Morphe brushes. We're gonna take this one. First, I'm going to just go over the concealer and powder with yet another neutral eyeshadow. I feel like that'll make it blend better or I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying garbage. I'm just saying garbage that sounds like it could be a real thing. When James Charles said unleash your inner artist, I really don't think this is what he meant. Um, I, th I think I, okay, yeah. What? That wasn't any words. Just scream? Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah, the cat in the hat was banned for a while. That's a metaphor for how communism is coming to America. What? But you could say that Santa Claus is a communist then. Well, the presents come from like Toys R Us, so clearly he's participating. Oh, I see. This one is like just round and pointy, but also a little thick and like, I don't know. Maybe it's a weapon. Hmm. I mean, Yeah. <laughs> I really had to think about that. <laughs> this is really weird. A little bit. This I'm just is gonna morning go ahead show and part two. Now. Bye. Bye. Okay, now my eyelids are bright freaking yellow. Now I'm gonna go in with orange. Um, well, this sure looks like something. I don't know what that something is, but we'll see. Now I'm gonna try a so-called cut crease. I don't know why I say so-called because that's just what it is called. Um, I look like a candy corn. I look absolutely insane. I know. I know. My camera died, but however much you think you hate this, I hate it more. Anyway, here's the final look. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to issue an apology to James Charles, to Danny Gonzalez, to everyone who is watching this video, to my parents for allowing me to create this monstrosity under their roof. <sighs> um, let's move on to the next look, I guess. It's always a little sad when you take the makeup off and then you're like, oh, right, I actually look completely different. Okay, so the next vine I'm gonna be doing is Let's just try it. We'll see how it goes, right? It'll be fine. Yeah. At this point, I must have blacked out and completely forgotten what the point of a YouTube video is because I was silent the entire time. So you're stuck with narrator risk. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about how Gen Z might be the most annoying parent generation ever in history. Because yeah, we're pretty good at adjusting to cultural shifts and new memes. And I think we might be better equipped to not become so out of touch when we're older. But the thing is, we'll still retain all of this old meme knowledge, including all these vines that people still quote to this day. But can you imagine seeing a road work ahead sign and being like, road work ahead? Oh yeah, I sure hope it does for like the 20th time that week and your kids are like please shut up it's not funny meanwhile our generation is gonna spend all the time being like i can't believe you've done this oh. and our kids are gonna be wishing that they were never born that is if any of us get to the point of having kids at this point i think the world might end within the next six months i'm a little ready for it not gonna lie also i keep thinking about what music is gonna sound like by then like now the cool kids are listening to 100 gex and that's already a lot of like beep boops don't get me wrong i love it but what the hell is music gonna sound like in another 20 years but also that kind of music that's popular today really reminds me of the music that seeing kids used to listen to in like 2000 and seven, which I'm all for. It's the roaring 20s after all. Anyway, what is this video about? Makeup? Yeah, let's get back to that. Hold on. Is it just me or is this actually kind of good? I feel like this is actually very good and I feel like this is a fluke and now I'm not going to be able to recreate it on the other side. Okay, let's, let's try. Yeah, that's not as good. I didn't expect to actually like anything that came out of this, but that looks pretty cool. Now I'm gonna try adding eyeliner on top of it, which might totally ruin the look because my eyeliner may or may not explode on it. Yeah, I'm a fan, and now I'm gonna potentially mess it up. Let it be known that anytime I was writing letters on my face, I had to do it backwards in the mirror so that we avoided this kind of situation. It was really hard, which is why it also looks kind of bad. All right, this is the final look for this one. Well, 
why does this, why, why do I like this so much? This video was kind of just supposed to be a meme. Sure. Cool. This took way longer than I anticipated and I'm gonna take this off now and uh, go eat. Cause I have like barely eaten and I skipped dinner because I was filming. Hi again. So the plan for this video was to do more looks but I ended up having like three hours of footage already. So if you wanna see more of this, let me know. Maybe I'll do it if I feel like it. This was pretty fun. So I probably will if you wanna see it. So just, you have to tell me in the comments. Please follow me on Instagram because I love having followers. I don't know how to end this. Thanks for watching. Please check the links in the description. Bye.